Today we're making the green pepper shredded pork, which pronounced in Mandarin Chinese sounds like Qin Jiao Rou Si, literally pepper and shredded meat. It's an original translation. Simple but extremely tasty by combining two different layers of texture. The softness of the marinated shredded pork. The crunchiness and soft heat of the green peppers. All powered by a great garlicky umami sauce. Umami. Let's get our hands dirty, shall we? Okay, here we are with some basic ingredients and of course we're gonna be needing some pork. Actually, I did this once with some chicken breast and it tastes great as well. I guess our vegan friends can switch to tofu and that's gonna make things just as tasty as the normal meat, eventually. And of course we need garlic, a pure source of umami. And finally some green peppers. See here we use some shishito peppers, but just remember the original recipe will need you to use some Argentiao Sichuan peppers. These are the same peppers that are used to make the incredibly good dobanjan, the Sichuanese broad bean spicy paste. For the recommended use of Argentiao peppers, we could argue that this dish is about Sichuanese cuisine. But truly this dish has gone national, it is considered more like a jia chan cai, remember? Home cooking style dish. That means that it's already become a staple food here with the locals. Shred your green peppers, then let's marinate the pork with some shoshin cooking wine, some dark soy sauce, and some cornstarch or sweet potato starch. Mix well from one direction and set aside. Half an hour, 15 minutes into your fridge should do the job. Let's prepare the sauce. Here we need some light soy sauce, some oyster sauce, some sugar, a pinch of salt, sweet potato starch and some water. Time to start with the cooking. Add into your preheated wok and let's get our meat inside. Just to show you how cool a wok can look like, we did this. Sorry, that was completely silly. I mean, you don't want to do this at home, right? Anyway, the meat is going to be tasting so tender here, so make sure not to overcook it, because we're gonna place it back into the wok for some extra cooking. Aromatics inside a preheated wok with some oil that means gulling into the wok, and wait until it starts to infuse with the oil. Then pour in the shredded peppers and mix well. Time to add in the meat and do this. Sauce inside and wait until it thickens up. Now, it is the moment of truth. Oh yes, we added some extra red chilies on top just to make this look like a perfect painting. Woo! Despite sounding like a very boring and standard recipe, I am promising you that this is going to be a game changer in the entire show off set of recipes that you hold. We forgot to prepare some steam rice this time to enjoy the recipe and that is definitely a huge mistake. You want to have this recipe with a nice bowl of steamed white rice because it's so juicy and perfect with rice. Mm. And to tell you the truth, this is the dish that I ate the most during my years at university in Beijing. It is one of those recipes that you're never gonna get fed up about. See, at university I would enjoy this dish in a tray like this, at the university canteens. And while there was not the fanciest way of enjoying the dish, the fact that I could choose up to four or five dishes into one tray, it was already a huge massive perk. It's so nice to be back in university where my studies would often be interrupted by long, long food tasting sessions at the university canteens. I missed it. I missed it. Anyway, that was the resin for the week. Back to my university times in a few bites. Remember to subscribe to our channel by pressing the subscribe bell button while doing some extra workout by pressing the like button. That is going to make your dish taste more umami. 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 And for showing you our gratitude for subscribing to this channel, that is a picture of myself at university. Yeah, completely random. Yeah. By the way, that was last year. You believed it, right? Remember that once we reach 5k subscribers, we're gonna be throwing out the massive huge online party where you're going to be able to meet the entire community of foodies. And do not forget to visit our online store on www.chinese.shop for some of the most inspiring kits about Chinese cuisine. Follow us on other social media, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you like and, and just connect with us.